Today's burn will take place with the Orbital Maneuvering System, or OMS engine. This engine has been used several times throughout Orion's five-day journey to the moon. This is that large engine located on the bottom of the service module. And the engine can provide 6,000 pounds of thrust. And here you are looking at a live view of the Orion spacecraft from the solar array wing with the moon in the distance of the screen, the Earth in the distance moon, and regains communications on the deep space network. We do expect to regain communications with the vehicle. As we continue to get live views here for the next minute or so, we will potentially see the Earth start to go just behind the moon as Orion travels behind the moon. We will not have Earth views, of course, because the moon will be blocking the Orion spacecraft. However, we do anticipate an acquisition of signal at 6.59 a.m. Central. It's about a 34-minute loss of signal, at which point we hope to regain communications with the spacecraft. And we do have confirmation of an acquisition, acquisition of signal on the deep space network in Goldstone. This view on your screen of planet Earth taken from Orion's solar array wing camera or saw camera. Standing on the shoulders of the giants of the Apollo generation, Orion now carries forward the torch of the Artemis generation as it emerges from behind the moon and Earthrise of our pale blue dot and its eight billion human inhabitants now coming into view. And you're looking at this view on your screen from the Orion spacecraft as it looks back at planet Earth having launched just five days ago.